Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted a video going through a couple of reasons why you may not be being offered the Windows 11 24H2 feature update just yet. And in that video, which will be linked down below in the end screen, I also discussed the fact that you may want to just hold on with the update for the time being. So you may not want to install it just yet because the reason for that was because Microsoft has officially confirmed six known issues since the rollout of this year's annual feature update version 24H2. Now go check that video out for more information. But this, is, this video is like kind of a part two to that video because I have noticed one or two maintenance issues after installing 24H2, which I did on the 1st of October. And I have seen one or two comments on the channel where viewers of this channel have also noticed more or less the same thing. And the first of two we're going to look at today, and just maybe one or two reasons, again, why you may want to just hold off installing this year's annual feature update until these bugs are ironed out. So the first of two is if we head over to PowerShell or Command Prompt using SFC Scan now to check your hard disk for corrupt system files. And then obviously when you run this, if it does find any, Windows will repair them. And I basically do this on a weekly basis. And after any update I run on my device, I run SFC Scan now. So here we can see my first run was here at the top. SFC space forward slash scan now. 100% complete. And then it found errors. Windows resource protection and found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Then normally what I do is I run it again. So there we go, I ran it again. SFC scan now, 100% complete. But for the first time ever, it said resource protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. And normally when I get to this stage, it says Windows resource protection found no integrity violations, which means everything's all right with my files and there's no errors. And I can run this again. By the way, I can run this again. And I did this um, yesterday. I ran this about four or five times and it still came up with found corrupt files. So obviously there is an issue here. Um, either there are corrupt files that cannot be fixed after installing 24H2 or there is a bug running this command using command prompt or um, uh, Windows or Microsoft PowerShell as an example like I like to do in this case. So that's the first of two. So if you've seen this, and your corrupt files are not being fixed, you are not alone. Uh, that seems to be an issue after installing the update. And then the second one I want to bring your attention to is um, using Storage Sense to clean out temporary files. Now, I have run this a couple of times today, which I also like to do at least on a weekly basis and after every update. And it does delete a couple of minor kind of uh, temporary files, but we can still see that it says Windows Update Cleanup it still comes back. In my case, I can clean up 8.63 gigabytes. Now, don't get this confused with a previous Windows installation. That's a whole different thing altogether, which is a backup of 23H2 um, after upgrading to version 24H2. And I've run this a couple of times and it's not deleting these files. So once again, there could be an issue or there is an issue with storage sense. So those are just two little niggly issues I want to bring to your attention. SFC scan now is not working and storage sense is not um, cleaning up all the files that it should be. And I'm keeping my eye on this. I just wanted to put it out there. And maybe that's just another one or two reasons my, why you may not want to install Windows 11 24 H2 just yet. And keeping my eye on this. And if I notice anything or this writes itself or I get any news from Microsoft, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.